It works really well in my backup speaker. You'll hear it. You'll hear it. It works
number 72. Number 72. Number 73. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Good. How about you? What can I do for you? Uh, I need to renew my license. Okay. I'll need your license and registration, please. I need your passport, please. Passport? Since when do you need a passport? Do you have your passport, sir? No. You'll have to come back tomorrow. <laughs> Number 74. Hello. Um, I'd like to get a parking permit. Okay, I'll need your license, registration, and passport, please. Okay, I'll need a piece of your living room couch. You need a piece of my couch, like my yes. Couch? Do you have a piece of your couch? No, I don't have. No, I don't have a piece of my couch. I'm sorry, sir. You'll have to come back tomorrow. What? Number seventy-five. Number 75. Hello. Hi. What can I do for you today? Uh, I need to get a sticker for my license plate. Okay, sir. I'll need your license, registration, and passport. Okay. Should I be there? Very good. Uh, I'll need a piece of your living room couch. Okay, very good. I'll need a TV remote. Um, I'll need a Frisbee. Uh, I'll need a roll of toilet paper. Um, we also need a pair of pliers. Um, we need a box of screws, too. Uh, a construction cone. A baseball bat. We need a baseball bat. Okay, uh, well, lastly, I uh, need a fire extinguisher. Okay, well... Everything seems to be in order. If you'll just sign on the line, please. Uh, I don't have a pen. You don't I have a pen, sir? Them? No. Number 76.
Geez, I swear these cars get smaller every time I get in. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Would you guys come get in the car? It is time to go to church. We are going to be late to Sunday school for the fifth week in a row. Dad, just calm down. I'm doing my hair. Well, how long does it take you to do your hair? A long time. Well, then you better go get done because the pastor is not going to wait on us. <laughs> beep, beep. Get in the car. Where have you been? Jeez. Oh, Where is your mother? Last time I checked, she narrowed it down to about five outfits. Five? I don't even own five outfits. Beep, beep, beep. Luann, come get in the car, woman. Bernie, stop. You know I can never make decisions when you are beeping at me. Well, maybe we should just go ahead and leave. Why? How long does it take you to pick out an outfit? Well, I want to look nice. Who are you trying to look nice for, woman? You are married to me. I can't just look nice. No, you cannot. I'm the only person that's opinions matters. And you look fine, so let's just go. Beep, beep, would you go get your sister? How long will it take it to do a girl's hair, I swear? <laughs> Us men don't have those problems, do we? No, there you are. Come on now. Beep, 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 I beep. I can't find her anywhere. That's because she's in the car. <laughs> Sit down. Let's try this again. <laughs> Where is all the gas? I just filled this car up yesterday. Well, I, I drove it to town and back, but that was it. Where did you go? To London? Honey, you can't drive to London. <clears throat> you would find a way if there was a sale. Let's, let's just go. If we run out of gas, we run out of gas. Get your Bibles out and pray. <laughs> okay. Let's pull out. Okay. Are we good? Is anything coming? Uh, no, good? Okay. And whoa! Did you not see that bus? We almost got killed! What bus? The bus that almost landed in my trunk! That bus! I didn't see any bus. Oh, apparently you didn't. Thank the Lord I did. <laughs> okay. Are we good now? Are we clear? We're good. We're good. We're good. There's no more buses. No, Are you check. sure? Did you double check? Double check. Okay. Well, maybe we wouldn't be speeding if you were here on time this morning. We gotta get to church. Beep, beep, beep. Learn how to drive, woman. This ain't a parking lot. Beep, beep, beep. Beep. Get off the road. Beep, beep. If you love Jesus, sign on the back so we'll be okay. <laughs> Everybody wave. Okay, okay, we're gonna make it. Okay, we're here. Everybody get out of the car. If you see Miss Maggie, you know what to do. Oh, Miss Maggie, what a, what a lovely surprise. I just wanted to tell you, you know, the reason we were beeping at you and all that stuff is because, boy, do we love Jesus. We just love Jesus. Oh, you guys are half an hour early. A, a half an hour? What now? Did you forget to set your clocks back an hour? The clocks! Oh, goodness! <laughs>
Zoom tight. Thank you. You're welcome. Model sneeze is desirable but rarely seen. The best way to keep from spreading germs is frequent washing of hands with warm soapy water. But in the absence of these items, an alcohol-based hand sanitizer is desirable. Would you like some? Nah, yeah, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You should use some. Nah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> 
There are various other forms of sneezes, many of which have been mastered by some of you or others of you may, may know people who can. For your awareness and protection, we're going to demonstrate them for you tonight. I would like to introduce myself at this time. I'm Dr. Jay Sturgis. This sneeze is known as the greeter. Oftentimes it happens during the welcome song in your local church. <laughs> Next, the sneeze known as the wind-up. <laughs> the next sneeze is known as the bomb. <laughs> it's the loudest sneeze, and the song leader of our church has it down pretty well. Amen. Next, we have the repeater. Almost everyone, almost everyone has mastered the cover-up. Hey, you really need some of that. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> Next is the cork. It's very effective, but it has some side effects. Ruptured eardrums, or can have loss of brain cells. Lots of brain cells. Often encounter this one with the false alarm oh, or the surprise. Okay. <laughs> Next one is mastered by almost all children. It's called the boogeyman. The next sneeze is the attention grabber, usually a junior high girl or someone in need of attention. <laughs> next we have the infector, mostly seen in two to four year olds. <laughs> it keeps me in business as a doctor. The injury. <laughs> it keeps it keeps my friend the chiropractor in business. <laughs> Next we have the cam. <laughs> it's usually followed by a large choke. <laughs> then the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> and finally we come to the show and tell. <laughs> 